All right, I think I'm gonna get started. The reason why I had everyone come today. First off, I wanna announce that I'm finally putting up the Somber One t-shirt that I've been wearing for the last 15 years. Um, we're doing this kind of as a Kickstarter campaign because we wanna put out a spring line and that's gonna finance that these shirts. Um, I'll give you the history of the shirt. I think it was 2005 or six when Devin came to me with the idea of doing this and we designed it with a friend of ours. It's the, uh, the picture is a cherub on the shirt holding this, this plaque. It's really cool looking cherub that was done. It was done 15 years ago. Anyway, that cherub represented pirate because pirate had just been born. And I don't wonder where something remind me of my baby at home. Because at that time, Nathan was 10 and it just represented my child, my children. I really loved that shirt. We started out as a company and it ended up kind of just coming my own shirt and I wore it for 15 years. I still wear the dang thing and we never had a chance to get together. We finally partnered up with an amazing company called Merchful. We're going to put these, sh these shirts out. We're going to do 5,000 of them. I'm going to sign, hand sign each one, not the shirt, but I'm going to sign a card because I don't want to ruin your shirt. And, uh, we're going to uh, send those off to you. So if you go to somber1.com, um, it should be up by now. And you can order the shirts. I know the price is a little steep, but we got to raise the money to uh, put this, the really good stuff out. We have, uh, Devin has a lot of great ideas for the next line that's coming out in the spring. We're going to do kids stuff and all kinds of stuff like that. And a portion of it will definitely go to uh, all the charities that we um, support, Make-A-Wish, um, anti-bullying campaigns, a lot of things that I'm trying to do to give back to uh to kids and people that have gone through what I've gone through in my life. So um, I'm very, very happy about that. Um, Somber One's something that's near and dear to my heart and I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it. Um, so go check that out, I'm doing that. Um, we worked really hard on it, got that all together. And I'm gonna take a couple I'm gonna just take a couple minutes and just take questions, I guess. I've never done this and uh, you know I'm not really savvy with the whole social media thing so I do this very rarely so let's see what questions you guys have I get I get it if you don't have the money it's all good just being here is enough man what do I think about 432 I've done that at that frequency I know all about the 432 frequency I've done a couple songs at that frequency so yeah I have done it I know all about it when will we come back to San Antonio um I'm not sure uh, corn's gonna be off for a while and I'm gonna be working on my solo stuff next year so uh, we'll see corn's best song I don't know they're too near and dear to my heart the Chester tribute was very sad but I'm glad we all came together to celebrate his life and I'm glad and I know that that's how he would want it because he was an amazing soul very kind 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 man and I'm very sorry that he passed but you know gonna move on any singer I would ever collaborate dead or alive I'd have to say Robert Plant is my favorite singer that guy has soul on top of soul I would love to do something with him but that would probably never happen what good band um it depends on your musical taste there's great bands out now you just gotta find them I hope you guys are having fun or tuning in here or hanging out with me in my backyard. <laughs> Talking about Somber One. I'm setting up that uh, t-shirt t-shirt line finally after 12, what is it? 12, almost 13 years. I'm gonna repeat myself. We're doing this uh, campaign. I'm gonna sell 5,000 shirts. Each shirt comes with an autograph card because I'm not gonna mess up your shirt with a Sharpie. And uh, we're doing this to kickstart our the whole line um, that we'll put out in the spring. Um, really excited about it. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the history. I wanted a shirt that represented my children, and I wore the thing every day for about 12 years. <laughs> and um, it's just a, a shirt that's near and dear to my heart. So I hope everybody, if you have, if you have um, somebody, go buy a shirt <clears throat> so we can put out some good stuff. We're going to do children's line. We're going to do adult line we're gonna have lots of stuff but i'm really excited about it cage that song got just left on the cutting room floor bro it just there was some good parts in it um but 
you know, when you're making records, you make a lot of songs and some just don't make the cut. I know I like the groove on that, though. It was pretty cool. Remember, everybody, go buy somber1.com. Um, buy our shirt. We only made 5,000 of them, and each one comes with an autographed card. And we're going to get the T-shirt line up, and it's going to be more than T-shirts. We're going to have kids stuff. We're going to have girls stuff. We'll have all kinds of stuff. Please, get going, and if you can help, help out. It's all good. Oh, and I better forgot to tell you, everyone has been asking. My solo shows this summer, I'm finishing my record finally. It's been... I started it in 2008, so I guess it would be 10 years of work. Um, it's the JDSFA record, but JDSFA is no longer. Fortunately, St. Shane passed. That band's done, and it can't be recreated. So this is JD right now. Um... I'm really excited. I've been working on these songs for 10 years, and it's turned out amazing. So there will be a record coming out next year. Um, definitely out next year. I just shot videos yesterday for a couple songs, and the tour will be next year. And some of the dates have gone up, so you know. Yes, I look at old interviews, and I go, what the hell, or who the hell is that? You know, as you grow up through life, you go through many changes, so... Yeah, I do wonder, and I look at it sometimes. I don't know if we're doing meet and greets at the JD Solo concert. I probably will. I don't know yet. I've got to get into all that. I'm just trying to get the, the record done. If anyone's just joining us, I just announced that we're starting Somber One, my t-shirt line. And uh, once you go to somber1.com, buy the t-shirt, t-shirt. We're only doing 5,000 of them. T-shirt comes with a card signed by me because I want to buck up your shirt with a sharpie and uh it's gonna fund and we're gonna have a full spring line with lots of great stuff kids stuff girl stuff uh, a lot of stuff my old lady's been working on so i'm really excited about that i haven't named the solo record yet no it'll come to me once it's done we're writing corn writing's gonna start next year and we're working on a new record that, then i don't have a name for my solo record yet I don't, I'm still trying to figure it out. It usually comes to me right at the last second, but it's in the process of being uh, mixed. So it'll be out, it's gonna be out next year and it'll, and it'll be dope. And I did kidnap the Sandy Claus uh, just on Halloween in Mexico City with Danny Elfman. It was like one of the highlights of my career to play that guy, guys like a hero of mine. So and then when we did it, we mocked it up and we did it corn style, but to actually do it with a man and sing with him was an amazing honor and I had a blast. What inspired me to do the Tasmanian Growl Devil thing? Being up for three days, <laughs> I lost my damn mind and it just came out of me. It just was something that happened. All right, I'm gonna say this one more time what's going on today. I'm announcing um, that somber1.com's coming up. The clothing lines, a t-shirt that started a long time ago, back, probably it's gonna be 13 this year, so about 13 years ago. Um, there's a shirt I wore for everyone, seen it forever. It's one with a cherub on it, big somber one across that. Um, we're throwing these shirts up um, to fund the spring line. There'll be 5,000 of them. I'm going to sign each one on a card so I don't fuck up your shirt. And I'm going to do this, this line, get it out. It's a shirt I wore for a very long time. It represents my children. And we're doing 5,000 of them. I'm going to sign a card with every one. Um, they're limited to only those pieces, and then once they're gone, it's all gone. And we're going to have some new stuff next year, including girls stuff and kids a kid's line. So I'm excited about that. And also, I wanted to let everyone know about the solo shows that I booked, the Jonathan Davis shows coming up, some in Europe and festivals. I'm doing a run in, in the U.S. too. I have my solo record, finally. I have like a whole bunch of projects, but this is the one I started first. It's the JDSFA stuff. And these are all original songs, and I know you're going to freak out. Um because there's some amazing stuff. I worked 10 years on this thing, so um, I'm really, 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 really excited about it. And I'm excited about the shirt coming out. Do you have any tips on writing music? You just gotta write, brother, from your heart. Um, don't settle, and don't spend too much time overthinking things. Just go with your gut feeling in your heart. Is Zeppi gonna be modeling for the, for the kids? Yes, he, he, of course, he's a ham. I'm sure he's gonna be modeling for the site. Um, Everything about Simon 1 is based on family. We're going to have all the family involved and friends. And it's just, uh, 
It's just how I do things. Family is the most important thing. And we're only doing one show in Australia, unfortunately. Um, it's just how the promoters book it. Um, it's never the band's fault. It's just how promoters and agents do the things. Um, I wish we could play some more shows. I'm sure we'll come back once we get the next new Corn album done. We'll be there touring and play shows for y'all. Y'all aren't getting shafted. It's not our fault. It's get pissed off with the promoters down there. We just get we just go where they ask us to play. I wish we could say, hey, we're doing this, this, and this, but it just doesn't work that way. Why is it called somber? Because I wanted to call it black. Um, but then Devin looked it up. Dark, gloomy, somber was the perfect name for it. You know, it does amaze me how many tiny kids love our music. Um, I think it just is true, and kids can see right through bullshit. It just speaks to your heart. I don't know. That's just how I think. I mean, I should bust my bagpipes out. Probably on the new album, I'll do it. The SFA is still around. I mean, the band's never going to be the same because, unfortunately, Shane passed away. And that was, oh, that devastated all of us. So, um, I'm putting a new band together. We'll never ever have the original band, but I'm going to get a couple of people, players from that if I can. And uh, I'm touring in Europe this summer with it. And I know there'll be a, a tour here in the States before that. And I have a new record coming out, too. And on top of it, if you just joined us, this, I just launched Somber One, my t-shirt brand that I started 12 years ago that was just for myself, <laughs> that I didn't give anybody, only I wore it. So uh, we're doing a, uh, like a Kickstarter campaign to fund the next spring, the spring wear. And it's going to be a lot of things involved, you know, available, kids shirts, girl shirts, all kinds of stuff. So we're really excited about it. All right, everybody. I've been on a half hour. I got to go pick my kids up from school. I gotta come home and kick it with mom and go do some stuff. So I hope you all have an amazing day. I wanna thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. And again, somber1.com, go check it out. If you can, help us out. 5,000 shirts up for grabs. Comes with an autographed card attached to it. And um, we're really excited to get this started, and we're going to have lots of good stuff coming from that line, and also, I am doing my solo tour and solo record coming out next year, it's the JDSFA stuff, all originals, but when I tour, I'll play some Queen of the Damn stuff too, so y'all have an amazing day, I love all of you, thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope y'all have a great day, ciao y'all.